Ludwig Kaiser about to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, die Matte ist heilig. What you're about to witness is dignified deformation executed by unprecedented precision. A diabolical athlete who was stopped at nothing to uphold the integrity and honor of this great sport. Introduction for the ring general. Flanked by his most trusted confidant, Ludwig Kaiser. Yeah, with Kaiser by his side, Gunther quickly rose to the intercontinental title. There is no telling what these two men can do together in WWE. complete synchronicity, exhibiting complete dominance. And set to prove exactly why they believe the mat is sacred. superstars in the entire WWE. The Viper is definitely creating a legacy of his own. Orton seems to be in higher spirits these days, but inside the ring, he's still all business. If anything, lowering his guard a bit has paid off for Orton. Always having that guard up can be exhausting mentally as well as physically. 
Randy does seem to be carrying less of a personal burden these days, Corey. And we've all seen the impact that's had on his in-ring performance. And then we've got Gunther, a man determined to restore honor to the ring. The unwavering Austrian is a terrifying force to be reckoned with. No punches will be pulled, no mercy will be shown. Very few competitors are as prideful as Gunther. He sees his fellow superstar. Take down, looking for the cross face, gets cinched in. This could be a job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Knee drop. Well, kicks like that are less about injury, more about insult. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. And I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Come on now. What is this manager bringing out? You should revoke his license for this. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Delivering nasty stumps. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. And he slides him back to the mat. Uh, we're going to grind the features off their face or just grinding his opponent's face on the top rope. And Guther looking a little less dignified himself after absorbing that blow. Yeah, as Orton was putting his precision to work there. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Oh, my goodness. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Got red suplex. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. And the Viper is more than just a fancy nickname for Orton. It really speaks to how he puts himself in a position to win these matches from his movements to his demeanor. Right you are, Cole. Orton's found a lot of success over the years by picking his opponents apart piece by piece. No doubt he plans on sticking with that winning strategy. Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rare naked choke now locked in. The Viper moments away from submit. And watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Placed into the corner. In full control here. Oh, Face man. first in the turnbuckle. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face or just grinding his opponent's face on the top rope. That was showing great awareness of positioning. Placing shoulders down. This could be it. He gets the shoulder up in two. He thought he had it. Just mounted with punches and not. Oh, man. Look at that gash on Gunther's face. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Big forearm. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Is it enough to overcome Gunther? Is it enough? The cover! Oh, shoulder up before three. What an amazing level of fight. Still left and Gunther. That should have been it. 99% of the time it is. Orton is seeing red right now. And he's got more work to do here. He'll head to the ring. Orton playing. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. And look at from uh oh things just changed in a big way. There is no reason for him to be out here. Oh, well, where are they? Okay, oh, what might take it here? Is that? Kicks it up, just kicked out. What an amazing level of fight. Still left and good there. The Viper cannot believe this. That should have ended this match, but it continues. Ah, trampling the opposition. Ooh! He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. 
Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Muscles up their opponent. Emerald Frozen. That could end the Viper's night. He kicks out with force. What a jaw-dropping show of strength this late into the match. It is just unbelievable, and Guther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Flexing his power with a wicked fall away slam. Oh, kick right to the gut. Again, another one. Oh, yeah, close line to follow. Dictating the pace here. And the Viper is in fine form. Orton just picking him apart here. Randy Orton feeding off this electric crowd. Evading offense. Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, right to the throat. Randy Orton's in a world of hurt. And the Viper needs to rally quick. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Measured knee strikes. Still it again. Yikes. Just caught flush. The WWE Universe on the edge of their seats, waiting to see which way this ends. Every movement. Every attack could be the pivotal point in this match. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, an overhand punch. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh. Devastating attack from the Viper. For the win. Two count. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. their focus and eked out the victory. It was definitely the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. And that is cause for celebration.